So we're just going to work from the inside out because when we're evaluating the composition of functions, we want to do this first. So we just say cosine of 5 pi over 6, and we think, all right, um, 5 pi over 6, we know that is in the which quadrant? Second quadrant. It has a reference angle of pi over 6. The cosine of pi over 6 in the first quadrant is square root of 3 over 2. So if it's in the second quadrant, then that means it has to be negative. So basically, this is negative square root of 3 over 2. That's what that equals. So now we're just going to figure out, figure out what is the sine inverse of negative square root of 3 over 2. And again, what we're asking ourselves is the sine of what angle equals negative square root of 3 over 2. So now it's not the cosine. Now we're talking about the sine. So you think, well, if cosine is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2 for pi over 6, that means the sine has to equal that in the for which angle? Which angle would give us square root of 3 over 2 for sine? Pi over 3. However, it has to be negative. So therefore, we think about, well, what angles are negative? Well, if here's pi, like, here's pi over 3, right? That's for pi over 3, which gives you the y coordinate square root of 3 over 2. But we need a negative one. That means we need to find the angle down here or the angle down here, right? But the problem is, obviously, we just can't find any angle. We have to find an angle that falls within the constraint of sine for sine inverse, which is in the first and the fourth quadrant. And we don't want to choose this angle, and we definitely don't want to choose this angle, because both these angles go outside of the constraint. So to remain within the constraint, we're going to want to use the negative version. So from here to here is pi over 3, then from the here to here would be negative, negative pi over 3. Question? Question? Do you have a question? Huh? It does matter. <coughs> I'm waiting. I was just going to say, so is it only with um, inverse triangles, or like just inverses in general, where it's like we have the constraint from the up thing? So it's for both, in, so it's for inverses, just any? Only just for the inverses, yeah. But that's the only time, we, when we're doing, like when I do the cosine of 5 pi 6, there's no like restriction, because we're trying to find the value. When we're doing sine inverse or cosine inverse or tan inverse, we're looking for the angle. So the angle is what is the where the restriction is when we're using but those functions. Because you're just looking for the point, then there's no yeah, restriction. There's no restriction. Because you're just following whatever the angle is. So if it was like instead, if it was like find the cosine of, um, would it ever put like on the inside? Would it ever give you like a point, and then you'd have to find like the angle? No, because there's infinite many answers to that. Like if I said, hey, what's this angle? You could say negative pi over, uh, negative pi over 3. You could say um, 5 pi over 3. right? And then you can keep on adding and subtracting 2 pi. There's infinite many answers. right? But that's kind of the important thing. If I give you a point and I say, how many angles are there? That's what we discussed last class period. There's infinite many answers. right? So if I work in the reverse, well, that's ba well let me put it this way. Like if I give you an angle, Right? And I say, what's the point? There's only one point, correct? If I say, what is the point at 5 pi over 6, or you know, 5 pi over 6, there's only one point, right? That's the definition of a function. You plug something in, you get something exactly out. But when we work in the reverse, if I say, oh, here's the point, what is the angle? There's infinite many, right? That's why that's not a function, inverse function. That's why we have this restriction where we say, all right, since there's infinite many, we are going to restrict the angles to only give me angles within the first and the fourth quadrant. That's why the restrictions exist. So if there was like a question on a test and it gave you, and if it was saying find the angle, would it like, and it was like multiple choice, would it like one of the options be like there's an infinite? Mm -mm. No, because we just use the implied restrictions that we talked about. Okay. So those are restrictions. Those restrictions are, are implied. Like you, the inverse sine is from negative pi halves to pi halves, or in the first and the fourth quadrant. 